We are here for an emergency recording. Mortal Kombat 1, not 12, but Mortal Kombat 1, as it's going to be called, has just been revealed officially. We've been waiting for a, like an eternity, you might say, for this uh, for this reveal, but it's finally here, and hot damn, is it absolutely gorgeous. We got us about, I don't know, it's like a two-minute trailer. It looks completely beautiful, and there's a whole bunch of awesome characters that we are, are we're excited to see. They checked off a whole bunch of boxes right away. Uh, this game looks amazing. Steven, what are your initial, what, what, what are your first reactions? What's on your heart after seeing this trailer? Yeah, so I'll go ahead and say that I was a little bit worried about the naming convention for this game because mm -hmm. we saw some, uh, some alleged leaks earlier, uh, I think last week, uh, that basically claimed it would be Mortal Kombat 1 and not Mortal Kombat 12. It is indeed Mortal Kombat 1. Um, I was a little bit put off by that. I still am, but the trailer delivered. So, I mean, hey man, you do you, right? I mean, if it, if it has to be called Mortal Kombat 1 and it looks that good, so be it. I, I guess we can get briefly into why that is. It seems like yet again, we're talking about either time travel or alternate dimensions or switching things up. So going back to the beginning. The, the, the impression I'm getting from this trailer, because there's a lot of messaging in it from the narrator. I believe it's Fire God Liu Kang, mm -hmm. who's basically kind of telling the tale here. Um, there's a lot of, of messaging in there of like refreshed and, and a new timeline, a new era. I think he mentions like a blank canvas that he's now painted in his yes. own kind of way. So it very much seems like this is just a complete overhaul. Like this is a new universe. This is just straight from the beginning. And Fire God Liu Kang is kind of making this world in, in his own vision. Uh, so it, it seems like a pretty big revamp here. I mean, yeah. it seems like it's kind of just going back to the beginning and starting it all over. And I mean, with that kind of a setup, the possibilities are endless, really. Mm -hmm. it, it seems to be a continuation from what we saw at the end of, I think it was Aftermath, where uh, Fire God, so Liu Kang gets the powers of the Fire God. I think he also gets Kronika's time powers. As he and Shang Tsung have a little scuffle, and then he decides to go back, apparently, and, and retell the story of Mortal Kombat in certain ways. We see a handful of very familiar faces here, at least, uh, well, for a while. They become unidentifiable pretty quickly in true Mortal Kombat fashion, <laughs> but we see the likes of Katana and Melina. They look older or different than they ever have before. That that might be different times on the timeline, or it might just be, you know, the imaginings for, for this this time around. They look absolutely gorgeous until they don't. And then there's this theme that seems to be of these characters that were have been rivals for forever possibly teaming up or that at least the idea of like you said kind of new alliances starting things over uh forget what you knew these people that have hated each other forever might be on a team and vice versa at this point and then we get to see some fatalities i mean not directly out of the game fatalities but we get to see inglorious what 8k whatever many k's we're up to now <laughs> fashion just absolute carnage and gore or what did you think of that yeah, so I, I thought that was, um, I was pretty surprised because the, the, a lot of the, the clips that they show for the fatalities, those might be actually be in-game. because oh, they think the, so? The, yeah, well, the final one looks like it's more of a cinematic CGI thing with, mm -hmm. with Liu Kang and Shang Tsung, because there's the way that Shang Tsung's kind of positioned there on the floor, it looks like it's more of a cinematic scene, but the other ones look like they're clips from the actual fatalities, and if that's the in-game engine there, like, if that's what the game's going to look like... I mean, that's it, it's kind of unreal. I mean, we're we're starting to get maybe to a point of uh, maybe Mortal Kombat's getting a little too realistic. I was now, wondering how many people actually died in the creation of this of this trailer, <laughs> right? Because it just and here, here in ten years, we're gonna be like, remember Mortal Kombat One's trailer? How how antiquated I those know, graphics right? are. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That's usually the case, right? I mean, that's what we see with every Mortal Kombat. They, the, the NRS, they generally like to they like to push the limits of kind of the the graphic capabilities and things like that. Their their games generally look really good for the time period when they come out. Um, and it's like, well, this is no different. But man, some of those fatalities. I mean, they there's little details in there that are like, ooh, that's that's a little bit uh, that looks pretty real. Yeah, so I don't I'm, know how I'm some people are going to feel about that. I'm going to have to edit this to to be able to get it up on YouTube. Yeah, and, and oh man, this is content creators. It's it's Christmas, and it's also like, <laughs> crap. Uh, yep. man, what are Monkey's we going to do with this ball, new right? Mortal Kombat content? I hope they, <laughs> I wonder if they're going to have some kind of, because like you say, NRS is usually ahead of it, even back when it was Midway, usually ahead of it, mm. thinking about what's going on for the current landscape, and you know how much of their content's going to be on YouTube. Are they going to have a switch, like a blood code, some kind of a, a thing that you can flip so that you can make it kosher for YouTube? Because at this point, man, this stuff is not going to be, uh, this is going to be tripping flags all over the place. 
Absolutely, and speaking of the Switch, this game is actually going to be released on the Nintendo Switch, which is, um, I don't know how they're going to do that, <laughs> because, I mean, they did that with Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, from what I remember hearing about that version, it didn't run very well, because obviously it's a very demanding game graphically and, and hardware-wise. Um, this is kind of a completely different thing, uh, and it's, it's, it's reserved for only the next-gen consoles and Nintendo Switch. So I don't know who's handling that port or how they intend to do that, but that's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting one. We'll yeah. wait to see well, how that looks, but yeah. Maybe it's Mortal Kombat 0.75 on the Switch. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And no blood. I mean, Mortal Kombat, the very, I want to say Mortal Kombat 1, the original I got on the Super Nintendo, and that one didn't have blood on the home console system, which was very different right. than everything else. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so there, uh, we don't know almost anything about the gameplay but we know a little bit because on the actual website here they've they've redone it and it's all Mortal Kombat 1 related we've got a, a release date September 19th but it seems like there is a little bit in the way of what we can expect for maybe a gameplay mechanic cameo fighters and that's cameo with a K of course cameo of course. fighters and it shows like young old school scorpion and sub-zero at this part and it says choose from a unique roster of cameo fighters pi fighting partners to assist you in battle is this marvel versus combat like what's going on here <laughs> so so the way that it kind of struck me too it obviously it uh, at, at the core it sounds like there's going to be assists in mortal combat which is pretty wild um, but that description, the fact that they label them specifically cameo fighters, it kind of makes me think we might be seeing something similar to like Marvel vs. Capcom 1, where you had like a base playable roster and then you had a handful, like, well not a handful, but quite a bit of non-playable characters that were strictly assists. And so that's kind of interesting because you go, in Mortal Kombat, you have all these people wanting these characters back and all this stuff, and if that's the case, you can have a, a big playable roster and then kind of flesh out the rest of it with these assists, these cameo fighters. So kind of you get a lot of representation in there, even though they're not playable, say, you know, Tremor comes back and he's not a playable mm -hmm. character, but he could be a cameo fighter. So you could still kind of use him in a way and, and incorporate him into your into your game plan and stuff. But that's kind of how it struck me. I don't know if that's what it's going to be, but that's, that's interesting, man. I mean, for Mortal Kombat to go like to have assists in that sense it's like yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, or or will it be some kind of a 2v2 or a team battle i i, I my gut doesn't well, yeah. go there but mortal kombat has done that kind of a thing in the past they had tag team battles way, or not it wasn't tag but team battles all the way back in like the mk3 days uh and and mm. and the mortal kombat creators have never been afraid to try new things and and, and it's not always good a lot of times it is though and so uh, obviously we're really hoping for motor combat or mario kart combat whatever it was <laughs> Uh, but you know, cameo fighters. That sounds cool too. Uh, I gotta, I gotta think that the likes of Scorpion, Sub Zero, Katana, all of these, you know, almost Mortal Kombat mainstays are gonna be actual proper playable characters. But there might be, you know, different versions of them that are also available as assist type characters, as cameo fighters, something like that. Maybe you can play as the old, old school Scorpion when it comes to a, you know, his assists or whatever. But we really don't know what this all is. We don't know if breakaways are back. We don't know if there's a run button. All this stuff is, is a whole bunch. Of mystery and intrigue but hot damn like i say this this game uh one of my first reactions to it as i was watching and we're not seeing any gameplay yet it's just the the concept the idea the story of mortal kombat one i found myself at the end going like i might play this like i, I might really get into this and we're of course all in street fighter 6 mode right now and this took my attention there I just say that's a good look for it not being the, the main franchise that I like to jump into and play as much as, you know, analyze and write about and talk about. Mm. This has my interest in a very significant way. I am excited, uh, I think ap appropriately so, for this early stage, this initial reveal. Are you feeling about the same or, or not so much? Yeah, actually, uh, initially I was a little bit kind of like, uh, okay, like it, it looks really good, obviously. And again, I was kind of put off by the Mortal Kombat 1 thing. Um, but once they started showing the fatalities and stuff, I was like, okay, like that, it gave me that initial, like, ooh, that the spine tingling, like the chill, like, whoa, like, okay, that's, that's the big time stuff we're looking at here. And generally with Mortal Kombat games, especially the, the most recent ones, you know, 9 through 11 and stuff, I've usually gotten into them quite a bit at the time. It's not something I usually stick with for, you know, because I always move on to like a Street Fighter or something, but mm -hmm. I definitely spend a lot of time with these games as well. And it's usually that first reveal that I'm like, okay, like it, they do a good job of really kind of roping you in and going, oh yeah, I want, I want to play that. 
I want to be involved in that, right? So I'm definitely feeling that right now. Um, it's it looks pretty damn good, it does. man. I mean, and and if those fatalities are in engine, dude, that is that I'm like kind of floored at that. And, and it's I expect nothing less from NRS, but man, I'm floored if that's the case. And it's four months away. September 19th yeah. is apparently the, the release date here. Uh, playable character Shang Tsung looks like a DLC pre-order exclusive, but of course, like you say, we got Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Katana, Molina. I think we saw a young Raiden and uh, maybe the great Kung Lao, but it seems like those are the characters that we've seen thus far. Uh, uh, next generation, so Xbox Series X and S, PS5, I don't see anything about PS4 here, but like you said, also Switch. And then, of course, on Steam, uh, I'm I'm hyped for it. I'd like to hear what the people are thinking at this point. Who do you want to see? What do you what do you hope this new cameo system is? Uh, yeah, is Liu Kang going to become the bad guy with great power? All that kind of stuff. This is uh, there's a lot of potential here. Any final thoughts, Stephen? Uh, I mean, I, I'm stoked, man. It looks great. Uh, it, I, I'm glad it delivered because uh, the, the wait for it was pretty excruciating. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm still not on board with Mortal Kombat One as a title, but again. If they're delivering what we are already seeing here, I mean that, that's a that's a damn good sign. So I mean I'm, I'm on board, man. Let's do it. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Let's go. 